Hi YouTube. I'm here because last year I made a video and it was entitled, We Must Do Better in Our Community, Stop the Violence. And something happened in my community a few weeks ago. There was someone shooting on different corners in the community at this one person. Two something in the afternoon. And this person got killed, lost his life. And I wasn't intending on doing a video on this subject, but it just kept nagging at me over and over again in my mind about this situation. There was a murder last year also, and that's, that's what prompted me to do the video last year. The video I did last year didn't get that many views, which is fine with me, but it did reach someone that was in this situation that I was talking about in the video and it's just one person I think the video got like 40 something views which is fine but it reached that one person that needed to hear the message and that person got in touch with me last year and said that he was going to try to um, try to follow those tips that I gave him in the video and he was going to get out of the situation that he was in he, evidently he was in a gang or something and um, he thanked me for the video. I'm not going to put this person's name out there. This person wasn't even from my area. But it has been brought to my attention that some people do watch my video videos from my area and I wasn't even, I didn't even know that they did. So what happened was, is that okay, it's been a lot of random shootings and stuff. And it seems like every summer, the crime just goes up and up. And the reason is, is because a lot of these young guys are hanging on the corners in front of stores. They're hanging out all day with nothing to do. And they, doesn't, they don't spend that much time at home. They're always on these corners. If you pass the store, you see the same people all the time. And I have seen an increase of... The traffic in these areas and in the summer the children don't want to stay home and they most of them are hard-headed don't want to listen and this is why these things are happening the police presence in these areas have gone down very very low now I'm not going to tell you the area that I live in even though some people know I live in a very diverse area, and I'm just going to put it this way, that years ago, this area was nothing like it is now, and basically, basically, it goes like this. One minute from where we live, we live, okay, part of it is, is the hood, but just one minute away is mansions where we live. So what is the difference between the haves and the have-nots? Okay, what I'm trying to say is, if you're on the same street that goes is co goes from the hood directly into the suburbs, why is it that imaginary line that you guys won't cross into the suburbs and cause any problems? And I'm not saying that they should, because it shouldn't be no crime anywhere, but I'm just making this distinction. It's like an imaginary line drawn. You won't take that drama over there, but you will stay on this side and cause all kinds of problems for the African American people in the community, the poor um, Caucasian people, and the Spanish people. And we are the main ones that's doing it. You could just walk a minute and be in, into the next neighborhood but you're not causing any problems. There's like you want to keep your own self down. You want to keep your own self down. A few weeks ago, I was in my shopping area where all the stores are. And it was a young man and he was selling his CDs. Very nice young man. And he was telling me a little bit about the music business and everything. And um, how much money it takes to make your CDs and he was such a joy to talk to. Here this guy is in his 20s 
and he was just explaining everything to me and very mannerable young man and very nice looking and he's he's so handsome he could be a model so he is really pushing to get these CDs out and to promote his recording career so we stayed out there for a while and then another young man came and he joined in the conversation and it just was such a nice exchange of ideas and it just was a good feeling to know that it's some guys out here want to be something and do something but the problem is is that a lot of these guys feel that there's nothing else out here but to join a gang or to hang with a lot of people that's not doing anything with their lives. We're the ones that create the ghettos. And the reason why we create it, because a lot of us, okay, we have Caucasians in my area, but a lot of us keep bringing our own community down. We don't want to keep it clean. I, I have seen people just take paper and just throw it on the ground and that type of thing. And all the negativity is directed to us and our children. There's nobody else doing it but us. So we have the power to turn all this around. And we can make our communities just the way it used to be. This area is used to be an area of upwardly mobile black people. Anybody that was starting out with their families and wanted to find a decent place to live and for their kids to grow up, they they moved here. And just in, I say, things really start changing in the 90s and it's really out of control now. And I can see within weeks that things is really getting worse. So, I know a lot of us be marching for civil rights and all that kind of stuff which is okay but the thing about it is we're marching but is anything changing we have we as a community have to get together and decide what we will tolerate and what we won't tolerate a lot of us are so scared of these gangs okay I'm afraid to but it's power in numbers. If we all get together and we see things going on and we just make that one anonymous call, we could get a lot of things under control. This don't have to be because, like I said, just one minute away is a very wealthy area and those people over there live in peace. You know, they have some crime, but they don't have the level of crime that's in this area. So, I would say to the young people, like I said in my other video, don't be hanging on corners. Don't be hanging on the street. Find something to do. If you're not old enough to work, find a hobby. Something that you like to do. If it's sports, do that. Parents, instead of letting these boys hang on these corners, take them to the park. Take them into better neighborhoods so they can see how the other half live. This is very, very important. I'm not saying everybody's going to be a millionaire because they're not, but that shouldn't stop you from being a hard-working, decent person that can cont contribute to your own community. And if, you're, if you are a young person and you're afraid of the gangs and people trying to make you join the gang, Tell your mother and father what's going on. If your mother and father is in a position where they have some things going on mentally or drug abuse, tell someone else. Just keep telling somebody that will hear you. And like I said in my other video, if you're old enough and you feel that your life is in danger, get yourself a bus ticket and, and head out. Head out. I don't care if you have to be homeless. If you can move to a better area and you have to be homeless for a little while, if that's going to save your life, you go get that $35. They have the Chinese buses. They got the Amtrak specials. And 
and greyhounds and all this stuff, get yourself a ticket. You just tell your mother where you're going, or if you don't feel safe enough to tell her, head out. And then somewhere down the line, get in touch with her and let her know that you're okay. But this information it will save your life. And like the young man last year said that he was going to follow these tips. I'm hoping, young man, that you are watching this video. And I hope that you get in touch with me and let me know that you're okay. And I will be so happy and grateful to hear from you. And I'm praying for my community and I'm praying for other communities because it doesn't have to be this way and it's not going to get any better. The main thing what we have to do is we're marching, but we have to be praying. We have to get, somebody's going to have to organize something where we can be out there praying publicly. And I believe God is going to hear our prayers and heal our land. So I will talk to you wonderful, beautiful people later. I love you all. Bye.